That was my friend Omar and his now fiance Danielle. Two very nice people I've known for some time. They got proposed the day we went to Universal Studios. So very big congratulations for them. Hope you guys have a great, great marriage going forward. Um, and I hope to be at the wedding. With all that being said, let's get started with today's haunt news. So we took another trip to Universal Studios Hollywood. And it was another successful trip, I will say that. Uh, a lot of things kind of looked the same. There were some touch-ups that we noticed while we were there. So let's get started with the Curious George parking garage. Now, we're looking specifically over at the Halloween house, which has already been announced for Halloween 1978. The last time I was there, the porch wasn't completely done up yet, but now it looks like the final details on the porch are being put up as we speak. All the paint on the facade is put up and um, it looks really good. Moving across to the rumored Scarecrow. Now that's, you know, that's a maze that looks like it's been done for some time. Um, a lot of people were talking about a certain, like what looked to be like a well, but it really wasn't that they moved that unless they put it inside or, or that might be the well for La Arona, who knows? But um, that is gone. But what was funny when we, when we were in this area was we had a giant minion ball like in the back for storage or something, which I thought was hilarious. So now going inside, we're going to look at the Horse of Blumhouse Chapter Three, uh, Black Phone and Freaky. Uh, right now, it is um, confirmed that it will be in the Waterworld queue, and there's not much you can really see from it. It looks like they've they've added some black paint onto the walls. Um, you can't see the facade. They did a very good job this year of covering up the facade. So kudos to them for that. No more spoilers in that area because there was a certain section where you could kind of look over and see. But it, it from what it looks like, the maze is the maze is up. They just got to add the final details and and um, add you know the the set dressing of the rooms, the lighting, the sound, all that stuff, and it's pretty much done. Uh, I didn't get footage of Lyrona or Walking Dead this time because they kind of look the same. Um, Lyrona, there's not really much to report on. You can't really see too much off to the sides of the maze, but you could see the facade really well, and the facade looks a lot of the, the same. Uh, same thing with the Walking Dead queue. Um, for me, there's nothing really to report for that. I mean, everything's covered up, and it's just kind of blended in with the Pets Place area. So that's usually where the, the Scooby gang does their meet and greets for uh, daytime operations. So uh, ironically, though, the Mystery Machine was not out that day. It was actually in the back on the studio tour in the picture car area where uh, right before the Bates Motel. So that was interesting enough. Um... I didn't also get any footage of Universal Monsters because, again, with that one, looks a lot the same. That one looks like it was one of the first to be done, as well as uh, the two in the back of Curious George and, and La Arona. So there wasn't really much to report on that. I mean, I will say this from what I saw from like a distance, it looked like the building was a little bit more aged. So it looks like it's going to be like a much older building once you go through it. So I'm excited to see that. While we were on the studio tour, there's a couple things I want to talk about. First and foremost, Killer Clowns from Outer Space uh, construction. Um, it, it looked the same since, since the last time I went. They may have done some details inside that we can't really see, but for the most part, as far as it being built and whatnot, it looks a lot the same. They may start the painting phase and then start dressing it and then start adding sound and lights pretty soon. But for the most part, it looks um, a lot of fun. Now, me and Tim from TLV were talking about where we think we're going to go for the lineup of this maze. And there was one place I saw in specific that I don't think I have video of. Maybe I do, um, and, I'll, and I'll put a picture up on it. But if I don't, I'll try to explain it the best I can. In the back of the mummy queue, when you used to go to the trail to take you to the back lot mazes, there's a little trail uh, trail onto the left where the Transformers building is, and right next to it, there's some sound stages. If you go down that little alley, and then to the left, there's like another little alley, and it looks like it shoots back to Killer Clouds from Outer Space. This is where I'm speculating they might line us up for this maze, because the alley was pretty long, and it was long enough to hold a lot of people and, and to hold a big line. So this is where I'm speculating they might line us up for this maze. Um, not too much has been said about that maze yet as far as only speculation that it's killer clowns from outer space and uh it hasn't been announced uh location hasn't been uh announced yet either but we clearly know we're getting a new location so there's that um i haven't heard much on uh, any soundstage maze at all this year um it's rumored to be the weekend right now but uh we don't know if they're building in there if it's already done i mean soundstage that soundstage right there is blocked off pretty good so there's not much we could see into it now, the last and final thing I want to talk about that it's been uh, sparking up some debate in the in the community is the nope sets in the back lot in front of Falls uh, Lake right across from the War of the Worlds uh, plane crash set. Now, 
I went through, uh, the last time I was there, they were still constructing a lot of things. A lot of the tra tram drivers are actually starting to tease this more and more as you go through. They legally can't say what it is yet, but it's going to be uh, getting announced pretty soon. What I found very interesting though, the day that I went is Jordan Peele actually dropped a little promo. Obviously, Nope is coming out later this month, but he dropped a little promo based around these sets that we see at Universal Studios Hollywood. Um, a lot of people are very split if uh, it's coming to Horror Nights, and a lot of people are very split also to the fact that it might just be a full-time daytime operation thing for the studio tour to expand the uh, the uh, interactivity on the studio tour I personally think that it might be both there's a chance that this this you know I mean you have these massive sets and whatnot why not put them to use so there's a chance that this could be part of the studio tour at Halloween Horror Nights this year however there's also a chance that this could be a full-time year thing year-round attraction um, from what you could see there was a uh, the, in, the, in the front part of it when you're when the first time you pass right after getting out of the world the world's plane crash set um you see like a truck that has a little bit of blood on the front and what looks to be in the shape of a horse that is covered right now with some uh plastic wrap that you can't really see the horse but you can make out the shape of it and we know that animals horses are a big thing for nope obviously the family behind uh the main family behind this movie are horse trainers for movies so we know that this is going to play a crucial part of the film as far as what their career path is, but also maybe something to do with the aliens as well. Um, I, it, for me, you know, and a lot of people have been saying this, and I think it, you might be able to do it. I, I don't know how they're going to do it, but for me, it didn't look like a, a, an area that you can drive through with the tram. Uh, that's just me. Uh, but the gates are still up, so I can't really see much. But we should be getting an announcement as to what this is or what this is going to be pretty soon. I'm going to make an assumption that they want to have this open right when the movie drops, which is why they were kind of getting it ready to go. Um, but it interests me every time I see it, and I'm very excited to see this film. I, I really think Universal has high hopes for this film, so we shall see what uh, Horror Nights is going to bring this year. We, we'll, we'll see what the movie, how the movie does. Uh, in my opinion, Jordan Peele hasn't made, as far as when he's written, produced, and directed his own films, he hasn't made a bad film yet. Get Out was really good, Us was really good, and now we're into the next installment of his... Uh, his movie universe, uh, Nope, which is going to be an alien based one. So it only makes sense that you put the alien uh, War of the Worlds uh, plane crash set right next to a Nope set. It just continues and that basically can be a little sci fi area, which is really cool. So I'm excited to see what this is. A lot of people are very split as to what it is. I am just here for the ride and I, I, I will be fine with whatever it is, whether it's for Horror Nights, whether it's for daytime operations. If it's for Horror Nights, that would be cool, very immersive into that film, especially because those look like the actual sets that maybe Jordan Peele actually donated himself. And if it's for the year-round attraction, well, that just makes the tram a little bit longer and a little bit more fun. Uh, something new to add to the tram. I haven't seen new stuff for that tram in a very long time, so I'd be very much looking forward to seeing that. But what do you guys think about this latest Halloween Horror Nights construction update? Let me know in the comments down below. Leave the video a like. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button with that bell notification beware every time we put up a new video because we're going to be grinding haunt content out a lot coming up in the next few months. This month, we are on the official countdown to Midsummer Scream. Later on this week, we're going to have a video that breaks down the, the newest Midsummer Scream app to plan your perfect weekend at the event. So be sure to check that out when that drops. Until then... I'm your host, Anthony. You're watching the Nights of Horror, and I will see you guys in the next one.
So the D.